Welcome guys to another video of Call of Duty Ghost and today I will be playing Extinction. Yes, the new game mode that Activision has put out to replace their special ops co-op and it is supposed to take on Nazi Zombies Forum, Treyarch and we will see whether or not it did a good job. Okay, like I said, first off it is way, in my opinion, it is way better than their Spec Ops, whatever you want to call it, mode that they have had since Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Both of those were very weird in general, and they seemed to be just more of a four players, up to four players playing against a bunch of robots on the playable maps and story mode through it it just seemed very risky very not risky but it just seemed very unwell thought of and unplanned and it just seemed that they just put it out to see if it would take and obviously it did not take a lot of people never even touched spec ops a lot of people never even gave thought of spec ops in my personal opinion i would have really liked them doing a I guess more of a co-op campaign. I've always wanted to see either a Call of Duty or Battlefield 4 co-op campaign. Either which of them would be cool. I just want to see a first person shooter Area clear. Let's keep moving. for a co-op campaign. I mean, Halo did their co-op campaign for, but it's third person shooter so it's not really part of the bunch. Alright, so for this video I will break down the pros and cons this is a pros and cons video basically just talking about extinction right now and see how it's progressed and see what it's done right alright so first starting off with pros aliens <laughs> you know it's funny that they did this it's a it's definitely a um, game changer as zombies was for Treyarch but this one, um, I don't know, I just seem that they tried to do too much with these aliens. I mean, they try to still keep it to where it's more of a uh, spec ops feel. I mean, it's still very spec opsy, and that's one of the cons that I'll bring up right now. But they did switch it up. They had aliens, I mean, Treyarch already took zombies so they couldn't take that. I mean, zombies is really huge out in the in, in uh, entertainment industry. Walking Dead is probably one of the best cable TV shows out there, bringing in close to 20 million viewers on Sundays when there is during football season at that. So, they really did... They couldn't really go with the zombies because they already took zombies and they would think that they're copying Treyarch. Alright, so moving on to the next point. It's nice. It's definitely a switch up from things. It's definitely a switch up from just the regular spec ops that they had. But, you know, there's quite a few things you have to do. You have to buy weapons. You have to make sure that these aliens don't destroy the thing you place down while it's drilling to I'm assuming get rid of the mother nest which breeds more zombie not zombies which <laughs> breeds more aliens so I'm thinking it's trying to get rid of that and that's what the drill is there for alright so another thing that I like it is hard to play after you know it's something different something that is very different in general I will be saying different a lot there is a lot of things that are different they especially with the multiplayer but we are not talking about the multiplayer we are talking about the co-op version of I guess Call of Duty Ghost so it's very it's hard to play it seems that as you Obviously, as you progress, the aliens get harder, and they do seem to get smarter as well. They seem to be aware 
a lot more and your weapons obviously don't aren't as powerful as they used to be they're just more dull and more sucky they they get sucky but that's very something that we would expect them to do all right guys a little side note before we move on i want to know your thoughts of Call of Duty Ghost, whether or not you think it is good, bad, what you guys think. Tell me how you guys feel about the new COD game, whether or not you like it, you like any of the things that they switched up, whether it be good or bad, please leave a comment in below. Like I said, tell me how you guys feel. If you think it's for the better, then tell me it's for the better. If you think it's got worse tell me what you think they did wrong on and tell me what you guys think about the new game mode extinction i mean it is very 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 different and it is nothing like we have seen before so i mean tell me your guys thoughts i mean this is not just a video that i make to complain because i will be complaining in the next part but please tell me what you guys think about the video all right guys so moving on this is the con. There are many cons to Call of Duty Ghosts. They are very, 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 very. I can't stress how much varies there are to this game. I mean, I honestly feel this is the slow death of COD. And yes, I said the death of COD. We have been waiting for a COD killer. We Everyone's been asking the magical question, what's a COD killer? Well, I will explain on my COD killer in another episode. And no, it is not Battlefield 4. But I am using Battlefield 4 as an example. Alright, so moving on. The cons. There are so many cons. It's still Spec Ops. It's Spec Ops, but with aliens. It has aliens in it. There is no change-up whatsoever. This is what's pissing me off. They basically took out whatever there is in them. They took out the robots. They took out what it looks like the enemy and replaced it with aliens that could jump. That have... It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It, now you have a mission... And now you're facing aliens instead of the robots. They basically just refitted them. They basically changed the outlook on them and basically did all of it to make it Spec Ops. They didn't do too much. They probably gave one or two, three designers be like, here, make it Spec Ops, but make it new. And they did. They made it new, they made it different, but it's still Spec Ops. I'm sorry, it's... To me, it's still Spec Ops. Yeah, they've kind of progressed this Spec Ops. But the co-op player on this, it's still Spec Ops in my opinion. And that's one of the biggest cons that they did. It's still a Spec Ops gameplay. It's Spec Ops. They refitted the alien. They refitted the men to look like aliens. They put bigger aliens and bigger aliens, and now you have to destroy the eggs. I mean, come on, guys. It's it's Spec Ops. It's it's original Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops. Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops. It's it's the same thing. I just don't get why they would just easily not even give two thoughts about trying to switch it up at all i mean yeah i get it Treyarch doesn't try switching it up either but they don't need to switch it up they found out the right formula and they got it right people are huge zombie fans when it comes to call of duty there is not that much spec ops fans when it comes to call of duty i'm gonna say there's less less than one percent of the Call of Duty players are Spec Ops fans. I'm going to say one third of Call of Duty players are zombie fans. I'm, those are just the facts. Yes, I know I sound like a fanboy for zombies. But there's a reason I love zombies in... 
Call of Duty. I do. I do. It's it's simple and yet so great all in all in the same. Yeah, in Black Ops 2 they did a shitty job. They did. They kind of redid themselves with Origins and also the um old African ghost town whatever. Yeah, they kind of made up a few of their losses there, but I'm sorry, Black Ops 2 was kind of a shitty version of Zombies. Black Ops 1 was by far the best there is when it comes to Zombies. And we can't forget World at War started it all off. But that's this is what I'm going to get into in my next episode. Comparing <laughs> Extinction to uh, Zombies. And as you guys could tell from this video, it's going to be just a, a landslide. But, you know, I have to give it to them. They are, they did at least try to make a better game out of co-op in it. They did. Now it's something that's feasible. Now it's something that people actually tried. I mean, there's been a few times where I'm playing with friends and we've actually tried getting a, an extinction lobby going. You know, they are they did try making it better. They did try rebranding it. They did try moving on from it. They tried making this game a bit better. They did progressively change the game in order to get the fans to visit their spec ops and co-op player whatever you want to call it they did but in my honest opinion as of right now the game being out so far about a month about a month and two weeks already um i'm sorry call of duty ghost is by far one of the worst call of duty games out there it is i mean i thought modern warfare 3 was bad that's how come i really didn't start my channel at that time, I started during Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was, I'm going to say, one of the middle games in there. I mean, Call of Duty Ghost is slowly going to destroy its fan base. And we'll have to see with the new release of this next coming Call of Duty game to officially see where Call of Duty stands in the in the uh, gaming community I mean yeah it's still winning all these awards but is it still keeping its fan base and I honestly don't think so from the people I'm talking with a lot of them have gone back to Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, Black Ops, um, Black Ops 2, um, World at War even I've seen a lot of people progressively not get fully inclined as they did with other games as they did with this one I mean I don't know I don't know Call of Duty Ghost I will do an in-depth review of it in a bit and I'll also do an I guess more of a I'll progressively see how it goes I did get the season pass we'll see how they change things up in the next couple of months they still have quite a bit to work on it they need to figure out what's wrong with it they need to figure out what they could do with it more than anything and we will soon find out what they need to do with it all right guys as always please try helping out my channel and not just my channel also a good friend of mine and a good youtuber in general his name is recon chaos www.youtube.com slash capital R E C O N capital C H A O S Recon Chaos. Go check him out. He's doing walkthroughs of Battlefield already. He has a few up. He's also doing online versions of Battlefield. He he is Bad Boy Jack or not Bad Boy Jack, but Snapback Jack's YouTube group. He changed names, so please go check him out. Please, please, please. He's a great YouTuber, and as always, please share, like, subscribe, whatever you guys want. I mean, 
please guys, I am really trying to get my channel out there. I am trying to keep up with my channel now. I'm now I'm no longer gonna let it go to shit. I'm really gonna try and give it my all. I really want my channel to succeed and I really want my my content out there and I hope my content is good enough for you guys. So if not, please tell me what I need to do better. Tell me what games you guys want to see. Tell me what games you guys are looking forward to. Tell me, you know, talk to me, guys. I'm, I'm really inclined to find out what you guys know. So, please, as always, till next time, guys. Peace.